Hey yo, good day everyone. Pase Bola here. We are now in this fourth game of this April 8, 2022 NBA game day. We got Houston Rockets with a record of 20 wins and 60 losses, visiting Toronto Raptors with a record of 47 and 33. The game will be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's 7.30 a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please, click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right? Let's take a quick look at the, uh, a quick look at the, at the uh, standings of these uh, two teams. For Toronto Raptors, they are at number 5 in the East. Uh, for their last 10 games, man, they have won 8. Approaching this game, they have won back-to-back. -back. So Toronto Raptors' is form and Toron Toronto Raptors' is momentum is just, man, great. For Houston Rockets, they are at number 15, dead last, uh, in, the, in the Western Conference. For their last 10 games, they have only won three times. When approaching this game, man, they have lost five straight. On this game, Toronto Raptors would have the home court advantage. They have the momentum advantage. Uh, but in terms of um, fatigue, we got to give it to Houston Rockets because Toronto Raptors already played last night. So let's take a look at the injury list for these two teams. For Toronto Raptors, Watanabe and Ananobi are both out. And Fred Van Vliet is listed as day-to-day -day or game-time decision. So for Raptors, two are out, possibly three, depending on the status of Van Vliet. Um, for Houston, uh, hold on. For Houston, four players are out. That's John Wall, Christian Wood, Eric Gordon, and Dennis Schroeder. So four players out for Houston Rockets. All right. Well, we all know the Toronto Raptors is the uh, they are the superior team. Um, they are actually playing at home. So. Yep, uh, it's like 99% sure uh, Toronto Raptors would actually bag the bag the win on this. Um, the 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 only well we haven't checked on the spread yet. I, f I almost forgot. Well, the spread by the way. Well, it started with minus 15 for Toronto Raptors, but now it is down to minus 11.5. Must be because of uh, the injuries that Toronto has right now. Sorry, going back to what I was saying. Um, highly likely Toronto Raptors, uh, they will be the one to, you know, to win the game. Um, uh, they have all the advantages, you know, possible. Um, of course, aside from the fatigue, because uh, Houston Rockets, uh, uh, they are uh, fresh, while Toronto Raptors must be tired because of the last, you know, last night's game. But uh, for me, Toronto Raptors' his, his skills um, would be enough to actually give them the win. The question is... Uh, would they be able to cover the spread? Um, and the spread is, again, for me, still too big at 11.5. I know Houston Rockets, uh, they have been losing lately. Just like I said earlier, they have lost five straight. But if you take a look at it, um, four out of those five uh, were just single-digit uh, losses. Um, they lost to the Spurs by three points. They lost to Sacramento by three points. They lost to Sacramento again by five points they lost to minnesota a very strong team by just seven points so um the only the only uh, double digit loss that they had was against brooklyn nets when they lost 13. so i'm taking a look at the uh i'm, I'm actually looking at this game going up against toronto raptors toronto raptors being tired toronto raptors of course trying to preserve their players toronto raptors possibly resting van vliet and as, uh, as I said earlier, uh, Watanabe and uh, Anunobi are sold out. Man, I'm on the side with Houston Rockets with a plus 11.5 in, in here. I think 11.5 is just too big. I think Toronto Raptors will win, but it will be Houston who will cover the spread. Houston Rockets, plus 11.5. Peace out, pasay love, and God bless.